What's going on guys? Today we got a spicy little gem. Uh, if you guys followed my modern content on like TCG Player or Channel Fireball, you would know that I'm a big fan of Slivers. Uh, the deck has always performed well for me in modern. It's a very aggressive deck on, on uh, I would say on par with like the Humans deck or, you know, any kind of tribal deck in modern. Uh, but it has a lot of versatility. It has a lot of, a lot of abilities that are happening. And uh, I'm just a big fan of this archetype. And this was commissioned to us by a Patreon Patreon patron, uh, Jake P, otherwise known as Spectral Links, on the on the subscriber Discord channel. So if you guys are interested in subscribing, you can join that and hang out and all that jazz. Uh, Jake submitted this with only 14 sideboard cards. So we actually just added one Dark Heart Sliver for now. Uh, I got also something like Abrupt Decay. The problem with actual spells in this deck, and it's going to sound weird to say that, is that it's very hard to get mana that you can use to cast them. So, like, right now we have four Sliver Hives, four Cavern of Souls. This forest came along for the ride. Uh, and two Muta Vaults. So we actually only have ten mana that would allow us to cast something like an Abrupt Decay, right? And you have to have two very specific ones. Like, you have to have a green source. So either, either an Overgrown... You have to have one Overgrown Tomb or one forest and then you have to have all these produce black basically so or you have to have one of these three one of these four so um the man is the only thing i could think that would be, that'd be tricky about this deck so far but we do have eight of these lands that produce anything um the problem is we do have we do have white slivers and red slivers as well um so in addition to the black we can we can cast the green and the blue guys because of watery graves and uh every other you know the lands basically so we can cast all of these things. The problem is if we ever need a red or a white for some reason, and we for some reason we don't have these, maybe because they got ghost quartered. Um, but it's not super easy to. I, we have a godless shrine too, actually. So these are actually fine as well. I guess the reds, the red is really the the one that's giving me any pause. Uh, any reason why no unclaimed territory? Like I said, I have no idea because I, I didn't create the deck. The deck was commissioned to me, so I can't answer questions like that. Just because I don't know. Um, also, you do have Vile, and you do have Collective Company. So, there are a lot of options. Uh, Guardian Links, there, there's Jake himself. Um, Jake, what did you have... Um... Oh, I guess you were the one who said Teleconnect number four or Dark Heart. That's a good... Okay, good call. Good call. Now, I don't think one plane... One plane seems terrible. You never want planes in a deck like this. Um, sorry, Matthew. <laughs> no offense. Um, because then you just might as well put one island as well, but you just never want to draw it because it, it makes sure you can't cast um, certain things. And yeah, I think this is good. All right, let's let's try it out. I'm 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 eager to play this deck because I've always been a fan of slivers. Hopefully, I don't I don't know how modern's been doing recently. Standard's been on the. Uh... Like, what do you call Thank it? You. Dingus Sig, thanks so much for the resub. How crazy that my three months fell on Chicken Sunday. <laughs> Don't they all, my friend? Don't they all? Um, I actually haven't keep been keeping track of the health of Modern just because Standard has been so prevalent. Like with the Pro Tour and recent GPs and stuff. So it's really hard to uh, keep your eye on the Standard. Nupster, thank you so much for this for the for the cheer for the cheer for the bits. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. What if we just sit in this queue all day? That's really sad. I'd cry. You guys would witness me cry today. So before we actually started, we got a a, subscri a subscription from uh, back Bacoco Bacaco uh, XXX Bacaco XXX, and uh, we also got a sub from Solar Stellar sixteen minutes ago, which was before we went live. Uh, so thank you guys both for those. Really appreciate it. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to fire today. I'm just going to sit here and wait for this. Mon so how you guys are doing? You guys, uh, you guys... 
guys doing okay? Hmm. We did it. Old leaky pillow. Been watching your YouTube feed. I just got back in the MCU zone area. Your draft feeds helped me immensely in understanding. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it, buddy. That is uh, probably one of the best things you could hear. As someone who does a million videos and... Uh, <laughs> Here's a tweet we just got, uh, just so everyone can see it. It's old Saffron Olive asking, is that list you played yesterday public? So, uh, there you go. There you go. Good times. This hand is pretty bad. Taco Tuesday was delicious. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I'm not a big fan of this. One sliver, five lands, and an either vial is not really where you want to be. Eh, this is better. I'll keep this. Do I keep this guy? I think so. Seems okay. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, it's public, man. For a subscription. Got him. They're going to take the click the company faux show. I'll just link him to the video. I'll be like, here you go, buddy. Diffusion sliver into probably sinew, even though we have the mana for necrotic. Grave crawly. Oh, that was a good draw. I mean, we have to hit a green source. Let's be real. So, it's still a good draw. Doesn't matter. I don't even care. No blocks, because that's a zombie. I, I know how zomboys work. They have one land, so Diffusion Sliver just says, like, none of your guys can ever be targeted by anything, right? I actually think we play Mutavault here, because next turn we can play Cavern into Sinew and, and, keep, and have so much. Just everything. Or if we draw a green source, we get to go collected company. We could also kill their land next turn. That's pretty cool. That's a cool thing to do. Did they mulligan or they were just like, I'll just roll this one land hand because I got gravy, dready, and, and thought easy. I'll take four here. Can you give me your opinions on gift storm? Um, I dislike the deck. I'm It's not my type of deck. So I have a hard time evaluating that. Slivers. Um, you know, that's not to say it's a bad deck. It's just I'm not a fan of it. So I have a hard time giving an opinion on it. I think I've probably played maybe two matches with GIF, with, with any kind of Storm deck in Modern. And we swung for eight. I'll take six. Seems good. The funny thing is, with a deck like this, you're very rarely going to be making land, making creatures with Sliverhive's second ability. But what's my favorite standard deck? I don't think this standard format is, um, what do you call it? So even if they block a three three, they take one two three four five six seven. They're still dead. This guy doesn't. Um. I don't think the format is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is my answer, I don't know. I'm gonna take out Telekinetic Sliver and just bring in Siphon Slivers. I don't think we want Blur Sliver either. Eh. 
healthy. Um, no, I think I don't think standard is unhealthy. I think there's a, I, I don't know. So the Pro Tour showed there was an abundance of chain roller decks, right? But I don't know if that's going to really bear out at events. I don't think everyone's going to bring chain roller decks to GPs and F and M's and things like that. I think there's a. We'll see. I don't know. I enjoy playing the green whites, the green. I like the green, the green stompy deck. I just like being able to play, uh, turn two five four, turn three five four, turn four twelve twelve. Like that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool uh, interaction there. Um, I definitely want the this this dark heart sliver against this deck. Probably did a blur sliver actually. Where are the raisins? I got them. We're good. Uh, thoughts on Blue Green Karn? I think it's one of the cooler decks in Standard, but I also think that based on the Pro Tour showing, uh, it is not the most reliable deck in Standard. Like, it was built to beat, like, the aggressive red decks and the, uh, blue-white decks, the control decks, and it didn't seem to really do both. So... Grave Crawlies... Grave crawlies. Do you guys remember creepy crawlers from the late eighties, early nineties? Either vile, not especially what we wanted to draw there, but what can you do? Oh, I'll take two. Hey, look at that, a planes. Oh, uh, get to the smugglers chopper. So, yeah, you bake them and you had like a little oven, like it was just a mold and you could pour, you could pour like plastic, uh, liquid plastic in there and heat it up and it would bake. It was like a, it was like a boy's easy bake oven. Can you guys hear that cat? He is so loud. It's unbelievable. Um, so we're definitely going to put Gale Rider Sliver into play. The question is, do we like attack for two or do we, I don't think we're attacking here because I'd rather not take an extra, you know, I'm going to, I'm probably going to get, uh, we're definitely getting a green source. So we're probably getting overgrown tomb. So I don't really want to take, we want the swamp and we want the green source. God, he's so loud, dude. It's almost impressive how loud he is. Like, man, cat, you are loud. <laughs> uh, the cat is a male. He is a male. He is a gentleman. Let us get overgrown. See, and the problem here is that we don't have any way to actually cast this guy with the Verdant Catacomb options. We might just want a uh, Blood Crypt in the deck. Can a cat still be in heat when he's neutered? That doesn't seem accurate. That is a loud car, you're right. Sliverland. That's not the worst. So we can cast Necrotic Sliver and Diffusion Sliver. Any veterinarians in the stream? Can we confirm? I'll ask my friend Katie Neal. She'll know. 
Ugh, we gotta get Watery Grave, and that just makes us real sad. Next turn we can cast this guy and then destroy something with the mana, but... I feel like we do want one red source that's searchable. They didn't get everything the first time. <laughs> Good lord. Oy vey. Oh boy. I really don't want to take the damage from the white source. Like, I don't want to take three more damage to go to nine here. This is a pretty rough draw for us, by the way. I mean, we have to, I think. Godless Shrine. Yeah, we'll pay the two just to get... We have to put something on the board. Well, I'm just going to play this guy now because if we respond to it, if we use it in response, I don't think it's going to work. I think they're still going to have to... Because they already became the target at that point, so... I'll just pass here. I don't think we're being aggressive here. I can't believe this crew's for one. Like, it's still kind of an unbelievable card. You look at it and you're like, what the hell are you thinking? Wow, this is an aggressive, this is an aggressive attack. We're fine once Sedge hits next turn. Yeah, but we do have to survive to that point. And that's not going to help that. So that's death. I guess we'll block here because otherwise, oh, you don't have flying anymore. Sure, I guess we'll go to one, two, one, two. Buckle my shoe. So now we need a land that comes into play untapped. That doesn't deal us damage. And I don't feel like that's going to be a thing we have. No. Okay. Two sedge slivers, no red. Unfortunate. What a way to go. All right. Um... I like Harmonic better than Necrotic now that we've seen um, Smuggler's Copter. I just don't feel like we're going to be using Necrotic ability. It's also not a May ability, which is really awkward. God, these hands. How many lands are in this deck, actually? 20 lands? And we have hands like this? With five lands in them? 25% of the lands in our deck are in our hand right now? Uh, keep. Yep. We'll put you on top and hope they have like a thought seize or something to get rid of that. Um, we're not going to Verdant because we don't know what we need yet. Like we could need to hard cast a blue card. We could need to hard cast a white card. I guess it doesn't matter because we have Cavern of Souls. So we're probably just getting a green source no matter what. But uh, we're definitely not doing it when we have Collected Company on top of the library. So... Yep, that's pretty okay. Never didn't have it. I've been interested in getting to modern. Do you have any decks you think are good for starting out in the format? I've been looking at Boggles. Um, Boggles is as good as any. I don't know, actually. I haven't... I don't know if I've really put in a lot of time to think of, like, the different... Uh, oh, that was cool. 
Oh, wonderful. Yep. They don't have anything, which is really weird. Uh, we definitely want a green source, so we're just going to get Overgrown Tomb here. Elves is probably a little more complicated than... I'm going to make this bigger. No. I think I still just want to play this first. <laughs> What's my favorite modern deck? Turns. I like I like the turns decks. This is super, this is really obnoxious actually. We've got to play one card this game. Yep. Well, at least these guys aren't legendary, I guess. All right, we have no cards in hand. Congratulations. You have discarded everything from our hand. Game one went great. And then game two, they had one Smuggler's Copter, which was problematic. Yeah, we're not blocking this. <laughs> that creepy crawler is sad. Oh my god. Fantastic. Well, that's a thing, I guess. This is ridiculous because we actually have no way to really profitably attack or block here. I'm not... We're not really going to be blocking yet, but... Our guys basically can't be targeted by anything, so that's a thing. If we can get, like, a sliver out... A uh, plus one, plus one sliver, then we're in good shape. What do you think about the Hardened Scales deck in Modern? It seemed... It was fun. I played it. It was fun. But, I mean, it hasn't really made much of an impression since then. So... I'm not sure... Um. Oh god, they're going to try to counter. They're going to try to kill this and it's going to be so fantastic. Oh, wow. Dang it, so close, dude. I mean, this is literally just get get our 2-2 back. I mean, they probably have another Tide Hollow Skeller in hand, so Nope, just a grave crawler. Okay. Collected company. Sedge Sliver is actually very good. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. How do they beat a Sedge Sliver with double Diffusion Slivers on board? We have to actually play this because if they have ever, if they ever have uh if they ever have Zealous Cons Zealous Zealous Persecution, we're just bleh, totally in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we can actually take six here. And uh, we actually we could actually block. <laughs> I'm really surprised. I mean, I'll be using Karn in multiple decks because he's in multiple standard decks. So I'll. I mean, it's it's hard not to use Karn in standard right now. So is Dreadshade playable in modern? That's a good question. I have no idea to be quite honest with you. Maybe. Um, we're gonna actually take six because if they do have Zealous Persecution, I don't really want to. I'd rather take nine and. Uh, Blocking here does not save this guy. So, yep, that's fine. Now we're just going to play a 3-3, three, three, gain 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 life. That should. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We'll take 13. But we'll be at 14 and we'll have a blocker, so I'm not too concerned. Plus, I, I assume they're going to... They might block. Lifelink is so relevant here. Sure. <clears throat> so even with Zealous Persecution... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... We take 11, we go to 3. And then they would die on the crackback, so... Man, Diffusion Sliver OP. I can't believe... I thought we were losing this game 100%. They literally discarded an entire hand. Oh, we haven't won yet. They still have Lingering Souls in the graveyard, so... 
we do have to kind of outrace them here. They're going to play Inquisition of Kozilek here. Try to hit our last card. Season 1 of Justified is a little weak? You're crazy. It's got a, it's a great setup, though. Oh, man. Yeah, Justified's gas. <clears throat> All right, so they have infinite lingering souls forever. But this is good because now we can actually... Oh, no attacks. Is that double lifelink? <laughs> no, that's not double lifelink. Uh, we only have two two mana for regeneration, so we're actually just going to attack with two dudes. Yeah, the characters in Justified are some of my favorite characters in any TV show ever. Like, they're really eclectic. But they're all very well written. I, I really love... Justified's definitely one of my favorite shows ever. Also, Timothy Oliphant as the main character is just fantastic. We're back at 19 life. Sliver's OP, man. Sweet salivating slivy action. Oh, that guy's not going to do it for you. I'll take two. I'll go to 17. Man, this game turned around like nobody's business. Oof. Do we just play a second Sedge Sliver? They have what? They have four blockers? So they're just dead if we play this guy, right? Because everyone's at least a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, that's Uncle Seji. He buffs your whole team. Yep, that's the end. Good game. I, I would have said good game, but we left too soon. Hum. Hum, hum, hum. Safe on Netflix Suite. Near us. Take it easy, buddy. Always a pleasure. Good seeing you. Um... <laughs> Oh, Gravecrawler would be five blockers, eh? Well, chat lethal confirmed. Just kidding. Gravecrawler is a card that I can read. <laughs> Fantastic. I will not... Jeff, I'm not going to Vegas, actually. It was too... I, I put off planning it for too long, and then it was just too late, and I was just like, eh, I can't make it to Vegas. I don't know if I want to make any changes off of that match. Like, the only thing I think is the one red mana would have been nice. Access to one red source to be able to search it out. Also, considering Urborg would make it red, and also considering um, we have more blue, than, we have more green than red, or green, more, green, more green than black, and Verdant Catacombs are only fetch land, I could actually see adding a Stomping Ground to the deck. It does give us one more way to cast um, Collected Company as well, which is nice. What does Shadow Sliver cost? That guy's gotta be like a million mana, right? Like five mana or something ridiculous. I looked up Shadow. That's not gonna be Three mana? It's not terrible. The problem with Shadow Sliver is that they can't block. So, like, Gale Rider Sliver is almost better. I don't know what shirts or skins means. What do we cut for that, though? I'm almost tempted to cut the single swamp. Or the single forest, actually. Maybe. I don't know. They're both very good. <laughs> Horsemanship sliver. <laughs> 
Right, it's a more of a finisher to go like Ice Throw, I get that, but like, so is Gale Rider Sliver, but Gale Rider Sliver also blocks, right? So like, you want to play cards that are good as finishers, but also good when you don't need a finisher. You don't want to have cards that are blanks up until the point where you need a finisher, right? So, I mean, like, if I play Gale Rider Sliver on turn 1, or on turn 20, it's going to be either a good finisher as a fly, giving all my guys flyers, or it's also good... Uh, I don't think there is a 2-mana converter, 2 mana cost. I think this is the only Flying Sliver, which is why it was rare. No Metallic Mimics is this... Uh... Also, I don't know if I can play Mana Whiff. What if Metallic... Is Metallic Mimic better than Mana Whiff Sliver? I didn't feel like we had Mana Games any of those issues... Mana Issues any of those games. Let's try... Let's just try it. Over Mana Whiff Sliver. I want to take out one Necrotic Ooze. Necrotic Sliver, rather. Let's see if this does anything. I like 21 lands, and we're taking the Mana Whiff Slivers out, so I can see that. Necrotic Ooze, Necrotic Sliver is kind of... Or maybe one Blur Sliver, actually. That guy seems less interesting. Let's try it like this. Winged Sliver? Oh, but that's not legal in Modern. That's a Tempest card. Yeah, Wing Sliver is not modern legal. That dude is old school. Yeah, this is humans after uh, after they've been through some life changing experiences. I'll keep this hand. Look, we got the Stomping Ground, and we can cast both of these cards off of it. We did it. I think Stomping Ground's a good addition. It's like it's like right in the it's like in the perfect spot for uh for a land that both lets you cast your slivers and it's not too intrusive like it doesn't put you off of any specific cards. Hmm. Like we're going to play sinew sliver next turn. So this is going to come into play tapped either way or untapped rather. Unless we draw a land. We could draw a land, which would have which would have been better. We're going to go this into next turn, cast Gale Rider, cast this, and put this guy into play for free. Oh, I see. Merfolk versus, you know, us. I will say yes. Maybe not Merfolk. Maybe we're, more, maybe we're, the, we're the Merfolk. Um, I'll say Sliver. I'll say Sinew Sliver. Sinew Sliver. Of love. Say what? Sinew Sliver. Ooh, 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 ooh. <clears throat> I hope they were holding up Counterspell and they're like, oh no, a, a, a cavern. Oh, I see. I see what's happening right now. It's all become clear. Phenomenal cosmic power. So let's go Sliver Hive. Pop this Diffusion Sliver out. And we'll play this guy with... And this is a lot of damage. This is 8 damage. And they need a second white source. They need to go planes next turn in order to Supreme Verdict. They could. I'd cry. It's actually nine damage. All right. Well, we had a good run, guys. Still a collected company. We could still get there. I guess Supreme Verdict's like a two of, so maybe they don't have it. They don't have it. I'm going to keep going here. Maybe? I think two is good. We'll leave it on two. Two is the most common number for slivers. Ugh, that again. Not you again, Collected Company. They have Settle the Wreckage, you think? I mean, if they have Settle, like...
No, no unclaimed territory because we have actual spells we need to cast. We're going to play around subtle, but uh, path on this guy. All right, we got to land, so that's good. Let's get a swamp because we want that for like Sedge Sliver and what have you. I guess we're at a point where we might as well just play the Aether Vial. To ferry. Can I just kill him? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna collect good companies, so. So they don't actually they're not gonna have enough mana to target anything because they're just gonna have two mana untapped. Teferi and modern. What a time to be alive, guys. Uh I'll say no to the one with two. Yes to the one with one. Or with zero. You know what I'm saying. Wow. Well, we're playing this now because all our guys get haste. So hopefully they don't counter it. They're probably going to counter it. Yeah. Remand? Oh, mana leak. I mean, it is what it is. Attack. Tefari. All right. Well, we could have put them to three. I don't know if that's good, though. How do you like MG going back to core sets, but not officially promoting Chicken Sunday? Honest answers only. Uh, I think going back to core sets is fine. I think it's going to provide some much needed cards. I wish there wasn't infinite chaff in sets like that. Like, hey, here's a 2 4. It goes plus 1, plus 0 oh, if you control 10 creatures. And you're just like, well, okay, that's not exciting. Uh, if we waited till his turn, uh, it still would have been countered, but I, I'm trying to get the damage through because we have a haste sliver. So that's not what we're trying to do. Like, we have a haste sliver, so we want to actually put two guys into play that can try to kill him this turn. The only thing we have to play around is counter spell because they have they don't have the mana for removal. This guy means they have to pay two extra mana. Um for each for each thing that targets a, a sliver. So they only have two, which means they can't do that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, okay, so about Chicken Sunday, I really think it's kind of disrespectful to not, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God, we're so close. Do they have another one, is the question. I guess we'll find out. Of course they do. Uh, the old never... Negate in the main deck. All right, well, that's... You do you, buddy. Never don't have it. Doesn't Mimic just win? No, it does not. That is not how that is not how Metallic Mimic works. Oh, what do we got here? Sinew and Predatory Sliver are pretty good. Uh actually it might be Diffusion and Mimic. No, it's gotta be a sliver. They have one card. It's not bad. Uh, we're at a point where the diffusion sort of probably doesn't matter. Well, if we only had the haste sliver still. New strategy. Choose new strategy. That's a solid strategy. All right. So what happens here? You just block with colonnade? Yeah. 
settle for two. Yep, that's pretty good. What's that like, I wonder? Also, all four collected companies is pretty pretty insane there. Yep, we'll let you do that. Draw a card. And then we're going to hope that you have nothing. You have nothing. 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 All four of them. There you go. Blur and Sentinel, I guess. I don't like Sentinel Sliver that much. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. That's so annoying. I don't even know what I don't even know what triggered it there. All right, I guess we're just hoping for no settle here. But I think we win if they don't have settle. Attack you, attack you, attack you. Sure. Three should be fine, right? Like, okay, got him. Woo! Woo! All right, so I feel like telekinetic sliver. Sentinel sliver doesn't seem great here. I feel like this is a telekinetic. Oh, oh, collective brutality. Yeah, let's bring that in. Um, siphon sliver doesn't seem relevant. Gale Rider sliver also doesn't seem great. We're not really. We don't care if we can go over the top here. So we have seven slots here. Three of these. Three of the, two of these, and probably two of these. And that seems perfect. Uh, I will keep this hand. I like we don't have either vial too, so now we can play our slivers and not worry about the. Uh, That's pretty okay. So because of Cavern, we can play everything. So we're probably just going to get a green source and a black source. We're just going to get Overgrown Tomb. Thanks. Dan Omak, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. You're the Dan Omak of our hearts. Wall of Omens. Wall of Dan Omax. Uh, we can't play Telekinetic right now, no. But, I mean, we have more lands in the deck, so... I'm more concerned with getting a black for the Collected Brutality and a green for Collected Company, which we have more of. We also have a million lands to play. Uh... Like, we have... Right now we have Watery Grave, three Catacombs, uh, four Sliver Hives, and three Cavern of Souls. So that's 11 lands to actually find to get, uh, you know, the thing. No. Where's Frenetic? There's no Frenetic Sliver in the sideboard. What are you saying right now? What are you talking about right now? Um, cavern will name Slivies. We'll play this guy. Sultai is my clan, 100%. Um, however, I actually like Frenetic Afrit in this matchup. Jay Goshi? Do I know, do I know someone by the name Jay Goshi? That name sounds so familiar. Like I knew it a long time ago. I haven't heard that name for many years. 
I'm gonna brutality you because you deserve it. That is a name I haven't heard in a long time. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna. We're gonna have to brutality your face, right? I could sedge sliver here, but then we just open the door for the, for the wraths. What is your Ravnica guild? I don't know. My Ravnica guild is a combination of Simic or... It's probably Simic. What does attacking do? They got a wall of omens. So they're just going to block. I hate wasting time like that. I'm like, I'll attack. And they're like, alright, I'll block. This, the whole point of this creature is to block, so I'll block. You'll make us waste time. And I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> oh, I think we have to collect a brutality here. Actually, maybe we discard a thing and we kill that wall. Let's do that. Two modes. There you go. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Cast. I'll choose you and I'll choose your stupid wall. I'll pay the two. Don't get me started. What are we discarding here? I'll discard Harmonic Sliver. Bro, I got a mana up. Don't even try to Spell Pierce me. That wouldn't even make any sense. If you are playing Spell Pierce, I'd laugh. Spell Snare, however, is a solid counter spell. I, uh... I understand. What up, Undreamt Tuna? Ah, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Spell Snare, guys. Spell Snare. I like lands. I wish I had some lands. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Not a rabbit and a hat and a hand. God, they have everything now. They can just do everything. They can block our guys. This is why we want the Gale Rider Sliver. This is what I'm saying, man. What guild do you think Mike B is? What's the laziest guild? Got him. Chicken Wednesday. I believe you mean Chicken Sunday. Sunday, Chicken Wednesday, Necrotic to kill Jace. I mean, it it's just such a commitment, dude. Like, so we go one turn, we go this guy. We play Necrotic, right? They do their Jace thing. They can even just bounce it. Jace will go to four, which is still pretty ridiculous. Um, And then the next turn, we pay three more and kill Jace. Then we haven't actually done anything. And then the next turn, we do another thing. I feel like in this matchup... Uh, we're a lot better positioned when we have actually let's both at Jace I'm going to settle the wreckage my friend oh and then they just kill this one no Jace goes to two what unfortunately this guy is trickily not a sliver 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 swiffer Trickily, not a sliffer, is what I said. That's English. How did Karn sleep last night? He slept wonderfully in his digital bed. He got a he got a, a beautiful night's rest. Oh, for crying out loud! Just get out of my face with this. Get out of my face! I can't be the I can't be the Jace here. Does Harmonic Sliver kill Jace? I don't think so, right? Sunday, chicken Sunday. I will play first. I'm going to keep this hand because of the collected companies. I mean, he's a sliver once he hits the board, but we can't cast him off Cavern of Souls. Which is really what you want to be doing. 
I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a... Um, we want a green source here, so let's not mess around. We're going to get overgrown tomb. No, we're going to get stomping ground. This guy. Chad, I'm going to draw for standing. Any thoughts on this list? I'm going to look at your photo list. Keep in mind that once you guys confirm or deny the quality of this list, Josh will then send it to me and be like, play this list. And I'll be like, okay. Yes. Use either vials ability. Ooh. Well, I'm actually going to play this now because next turn, like you have to have spell snare now. Next turn you could have negate, you could have remand, you could have lots of things. Has it been a while since you, <laughs> don't say a sweet slivy. That sounds, a sweet slivy sounds like, uh, sounds like a 1950s date move. Yeah, we, we, we hooked up and did the sweet slivy together. What? That's so weird. Don't do that. All right, I'm just going to pass here because I don't have anything to put into play. I don't have any spells to cast. It's very strange. I sure wish I did, though. JK, I do. Sweet Slivy, Bama Lamb. I don't know what, I don't know what's happening right now. Do you have any name shapeshifter magic online? That's what you're saying. He's just helping his own tribe. I've been playing Fallout Four again a lot recently, and I'll be honest with you, I kind of wish I was playing some Fallout Four right now. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go to three. All right, well, we hit a two. Should have stayed at three. Or two. That's what I meant. All righty then. Should have stayed at two so badly. It was so dumb to stay at good. We have so much. So many more two drops than three drops. Did I say Fallout Three? I saved Megaton because I'm not a maniac. Can I play this for free? No, you can't. I have a counter spell. Oh, good for you. Good for you. So, no. Now we're going to play it. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if we put it on two? This game would be completely different. Come on. Wow. <laughs> wow. Jesus. That's brutal. Yeah, putting Aether Bottle 3 was definitely the key mistake here. We'd have uh, six more power on board at the very least. Timely reinforcements. Okay. Never again. The mistakes have been made. One, two, three, four. They could go triple block here. That seems pretty rough. But if they're doing that, I guess that's fine. Oh, they didn't do that. All right. <sighs> Whatever. Wow, Terminus is a really obnoxious card with Jace the Mind Sculptor in the format. It's, it's one of the problems with playing Slivers right there. Is that you end up drawing things like uh, either vial. Too late. So they have four cards in hand. One, two, three, four, six lands. And we have a sliver and no cards. Not not the best. Not the best. Yeah, Metallic Mimic's doing work all right. Going to the bottom of the library is more like it. Wow. That's unbeatable for us. We have entered unbeatable territory. Yeah. I mean, if we hit Necrotic Sliver, maybe there'd be a chance we could put a Necrotic Sliver into play, but we're not winning that match by any means. Uh, I actually do like Frenetic Sliver in the sideboard. Also, reserve it's in turn flip a coin if you win. Yeah, that seems good. Um, 
I don't think we need four harmonic slivers. That seems a little bit aggressive. I will bring you in. Uh, f I don't know what the dismembers are actually for. So I'll take one of those out. And we have three siphon slivers in total. That's probably enough to cut the dark heart sliver for another phonetic sliver. Because I think that's really good against the control decks. That's a brave sliver. You're a brave sliver. Got him. This isn't the same person, right? I really want to face that same deck again. No, it was not. I will play first. Uh, this hand actually seems surprisingly good. We can get our stomping ground with this guy. We have Swamp for this guy. We can cast Collected Company and Gale Rider. We can't cast the Sinew Sliver yet, but... You know. Jake Gush, what's the, what's the best way to message you, buddy? I messaged you on Facebook, but you haven't seen it, so I'm wondering if there's a better way to get a hold of you. How can we communicate with one another? Oh, look, we boarded out like two harmonic slivers in the matchup when we're playing Affinity. What a time to be alive. Um... <sighs> Just get Godless Shrine. Like, I don't want to get Godless Shrine, but maybe I do. Can we put one Sacred Foundry in the deck as well? <laughs> Is that a thing we can do? There's a Tefri Sliver that turns off Terminus? <laughs> what? Uh, these are decisions we have to make. We can't get Godless Shrine because it shuts off both of these cards. Yeah, we're just going to play this and uh, plan for a Sedge Sliver next turn. You can't fetch Sacred Shrine? Uh, I think you mean Sacred Foundry. I don't know what a Sacred Shrine is. But I, I see what you're saying. I get your point, buddy. I get your drift. Now we're going to get a stomping grizzle. Nope. Oh, dubs sedgems. Get in there. Do your thing. Yeah, if they're on Affinity and they go Dark Steel, Dark Steel, Arc Pound Ravager, it's like, what did you keep? What's in your hand? You got a bunch of thoughts, thoughts casts in your hand? All right, great cranial plating. I just block with Sedge Sliver. Just block with 3 3. I mean, it's the only creature. You're tapped out. Okay. Oh, there was there was a thought cast in their hand. You could make a Mike B shrine for when he's not here. Yeah, definitely not doing that. Oh, that's not a thing we're gonna do. All right, we're just gonna collect a company here because if we get hasty slivers, because it's relevant, mimic, and Gale, and sliver. Not the best hits. These hits off collected company have been pretty bad. However, Sedge Sliver into Gale Rider Sliver next turn could be good. If we hit a land with Sinew into Sledge is also... Sedge, not Sledge. Sledge Sliver. Etched Champion. All our guys fly, so I'm not too worried about that. We can also take a hit pretty easily off of this Cranial Plating. It's like 7,000 damage, but... Alright, it's fine.
Come on, feel the noise. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think they're just dead here. They don't have any flyers, right? No, nah, they're just dead. That guy's pretty good. Four, eight, twelve, fifteen. Seems good. Sliver's OP. I can be necrotic sliver seems a little slow. Actually, necrotic sliver might be fine just because they have a bunch of. I almost want to take either valves out when we have when they have harmonic sliver when we bring in harmonics because I don't want to kill our own things. But we also have metallic mimic too. Life gain sliver seems good here. I don't think I care about sentinel sliver to be honest. Ain't nobody got time for no vigilance. I like the Sentinel Sliver Telekinetic Sliver combo, but actually Diffusion Sliver is probably bad. They're not going to be casting anything as our guys. They'll rather just have two two slivers, I guess. Bring in Dismembers and probably Telekinetic Sliver, I guess. Being able to tap down like their the guy that they put all the counters on or like their land or whatever is pretty good. This hand's also pretty good. If we're on Affinity and we're yeah we're bringing in Harmonic Sliver into many targets, so we're probably in good shape. Yeah. Well, I guess I gotta kill my either Val. You don't have any permanents in play. I don't actually want to play this Urborg unless I have to. Oh, that's a good that's a good card. So what we're probably gonna do is go so solo. We don't need the life here, so we're probably just gonna play this guy. Next turn play double double other slivers. Um I don't want you to sack I, I if you're if you sack both of these, I'm totally fine with that. I will trade Ornithopter and Darksteel Citadel for Sentinel Sliver. You didn't play anything on your turn? This game's over. This game hath ended. We have a Sudge Sliver. We have a green. We'll get this because uh, this is a second blue for the Telekinetic Sliver if we ever draw it. We'll say Slivs. Vigilance. Any chance we can get an updated deck list so I can see what you're cooking with today? Yeah, no beats. Just let me finish this match first, buddy. Oh, the updated deck list. Never mind. I got you. God, there's so many things I have to remember to do. I have to update the stream title. I got to update the stream decker deck list. Streaming ain't easy, man. I still just don't want to... I don't want to Urborg here because... I don't want to give you black mana. I know that sounds silly, but like if you have Dismember in hand, there's no incentive for us to not make you take four to play it. Yeah, this game just ended. Oh, game 20. Seems good. All right, let me update the deck list. Give me one second. Upload new deck list.
All right, new deck list is up and ready. Um, So here's what I'm wondering. I think you either play Aether Vials or you play Mana Weft Slivers. I think they're kind of both doing the same thing. But Mana Weft Sliver is so much better in the late game. I don't know if I like... I don't even know if I like either uh, either vial in the deck. Let me look up my slivers decks. And I guess there was there was mana Weft sliver and the other sliver in this in this version. That's interesting. Hmm. Unclaimed territory is not good. We can't cast collected company off of it. Like, we're cutting so many lands. What are we gonna? We can't, okay. Let's play. Let's play unclaimed territory. We have three lands that can cast a collected company. That's just not good. Unclaimed territory is not good when you when you actually need mana to cast spells that are not slivers. The two mana illusion clone. Um, I I don't like it because it's too dependent on you having slivers in play. I think we can actually cut one diffusion sliver for something. I think Aetheral is massively overrated. Like it's a terrible top deck. It's bad in multiples. Didn't we literally just say unclaimed territory? No, unclaimed territory is terrible with collected company. Oh my god, we don't need more mana to cast slivers. We need mana that casts our own spells, like collected company. If we bring in Mana Weft Sliver, it's an option, but... My first deck was a Sliver Preconstructed deck from Legion, so I always had a soft spot for the Goofy... Goofy Little Abominations, that is insulting. So is Cavern. Yes, correct. So is Sliverhive. I that's why we don't have that's why we don't want 12 of them. We want 8 of them. The what exa what you're saying is exactly why we don't want unclaimed territory because we have a lot of them already. Very good observation. Um Yeah, like, Mana Weft is just an Aether Vial that gets pumped. And it feels like a better top deck in the late game. I wish there was more one-mana Slivers, though. I'm just going to look up Sliver again, just to make sure we're getting everything. Modern Sliver. What about constructed Constricting Sliver? It just turns all your Slivers into, like, Oblivion Rings for creatures to journey to nowheres. I agree. I wish we did have more one-drop Slivers. I don't know if you guys were reading X-Men when uh, the Danger Room turned into an actual, uh, like, sentient being called Danger. But um, it looks like all these slivers. This is what the Danger Room looked like in X-Men after it turned sentient and became, uh, like, a humanoid f figure. And it just looks like all, all, every time I look at these slivers, I'm just like, oh, this is just Danger from the X-Men now. And I'm just like, look, that's literally this. This is the exact character on a magic card. These are all just the danger room come to life. <laughs> God, virulent sliver. Uh... Cottery sliver. <laughs> oh, we don't have the, the, the problem is like you don't have the mana for these things. Shall we begin? What's the Shroud Sliver? There's a Shroud Sliver? That doesn't seem like a real card, right? I don't think there's any Shroud Sliver. That seems broken.
Oh, are you guys talking about the uh, crystalline sliver? Yeah, crystalline sliver is insane. Unfortunately, that's not modern legal. Yeah, that's not that's not a real card. Uh, I would 100% play crystalline sh sh sliver over diffusion sliver 1,000% of the time. Is there an indestructible sliver where all your slivers get indestructible? Because that's really where I want to be in life. Why do I have so many of these predatory slivers? What is Sidewinder? And why do I care about that? Why is that like can't be blocked by more than one creature? Or it has to be blocked by more than one creature? Why is it not showing up here? I have to like go through all these slivers to find it. What does it cost? A million mana? Oh, flanking? Yeah, me either. I was just throwing four main deck chalices. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I doubt we'd have room for any slivers at that point. I kind of like one Hive Lord, to be quite honest. I also don't mind Legion, Sliver Legion as well. Do we have a Sliver Hive Lord? I could take one Diffusion Sliver out for one Sliver Hive Lord. But what are the odds we're actually going to be able to cast it? The cycle sliver probably is modern, but I don't think we ever want to cycle our slivers. I just want to play them. Every time I see this, I'm like, is that sliver shooting things out of his eyes? Is this laser laser eye sliver? Yeah, I don't know. Um... What a sliver hive load, like five mana make a sliver or something. Indestructible. Let's try one of those bad boys. That seems good enough. Saxor, I'm gonna actually murder you, dude. Actually gonna murder you. The problem with okay, so the problem with Hive Lord, which I just realized that it's five mana, so it doesn't get hit by collected company. So like we have to draw this one of in our deck, and we have to also hope we can cast it. Laser eye sliver, what a card. <laughs> That's you're right, the, the slivers are literally just X-Men. Uh, that's amazing. What did I just take out? We're at 59. Oh, I took out one diffusion sliver. I think three is fine. I don't really want that many 1-1 one, one slivers in the deck, unfortunately. Oh, I, I, I typed in slivers, not sliver, so I have a much more limited field. Oh, we do have we do have mana whiff sliver. All right, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna trade for. I'm gonna grab a sliver hive lord, and we're gonna play one sliver hive lord. You know, if you let me in. No, nope, no, nope, guess not. Okay. Sliver. I've gone over the uncontested territory multiple times. Sliver Overlord. This is not modern playable. Sliver Legion, which is actually pretty spicy. And Sliver Hive Lord. How much is this guy? 15 cents? Deal. If we can actually resolve this, this is a 5-5 five, five indestructible, uncounterable sliver. Um, Alright, I'm going to put one sliver Hive Lord, and, and, and our inner Johnny is going to be so excited right now. There we go.
There you go, unclaimed territory. Uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. do we just hope to get there with these three one ones? That seems bad. One of the spike players threw a kid's deck against the wall. For, yeah, should you, you, you should not only confront him, you should ban that kid from the store. That's an insane. That kid has anger management issues and should not be uh, allowed to interact with other people who he might be able to harm. But yes, definitely confront him. That is not a cool way to behave. I have no idea whether to keep this hand or not. Oh, hey, we're Avatar twins. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's. I'm surprised that it was just okay. I, it doesn't matter what the kid was playing. The kid could be playing anything. Um, I'm going to keep this hand because of the Mano F Sliver, actually. It's going to let us have some explosive starts, presumably, if they don't make, them dis make us discard it because we have double uh, Gale Rider Sliver in hand. Shall we begin? <laughs> oh. Got you a 1-1. One, one. Uh, define deserve to win when it comes to Magic the Gathering. I'm really curious about when someone says they didn't deserve to win. Do people deserve to win in a game of uh, that, that has variance and luck? Because that's weird. I didn't. That seems pretty entitled to me. Alright, well, this is interesting what's happening here. Let's go Mimic. Don't counter this guy. I'll be so sad. Dang it. Mutavolt, tap red, this guy, and this guy, play this guy, and we'll attack for three. His opponent was Burton Cheney, he deserved to win. <laughs> okay, fair. Yeah, that actually sounds terrible. Um, that store does not sound enjoyable at all. That sounds like a, a gatekeeping nightmare. Oh, Pyromancario. Creepy John's Magic Castle. <laughs> oh boy. That's a that's a name right there.
They're at four? My god, these slivers are taking a chunk. My gel my gel is just full of nice polite stoners, so let me cube with them. Good people. Yeah, that seems fine. They can join our EDH outside and coffees. Oh god. Cringe city. Alright, I'm gonna do this again. I assume you have two removal spells for my flighty flighty flight boys. And then you're probably gonna blow us out. We won't be dead here. So if you go like removal spell, removal spell, you have four blockers. I think we're still okay here. So salty, what's going on? Tell Germany I said what's up. The closest I have to an elder spent an hour. Yeah, he, NYC seems pretty bad for. Um, wow, that's f f nightmarish. Um, yeah, yeah, New York City is actually pretty rough for gaming stores. Make another guy. So they have one, two, three, they have five power, one, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven. So you can kill pretty much everything, but you're probably not going to. You're gonna go block, 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 block. All right. So be it. So you go to one. Well, not ideal, but we're, we should be all right. Let's play Godless Shrine here. Untrimmed Tuna, that's actually a good suggestion. So become a judge. I like it. Bumble Scum New York somewhere. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, you play in New York? Where you play? Uh, Syracuse. Oh, I see. Six cards in your hand. I'm gonna play this guy in case you have a two mana spell, in which case we can mute vault, but snaps make maps. You don't have a counter spell. You do have a counter spell, you have a Romando. That's good. Wait, what happened? Oh, I have Cavern of Souls on this dude. <laughs> I totally forgot. I was like, wait, what well, happened? They're going to be like, was it bugged? What just happened? I'm going to be like, hey, buddy, that's not how Cavern of Souls works, my friend. I totally, it totally crossed, I, it totally slipped my mind that we Cavern of Souls it. I was like, wait, why did it resolve? I don't understand. Tell me more, tell me more. Yeah, I thought I thought they were gonna electrolyze, and because that seems better, right? You just kill Predatory Sliver. Uh, I don't get to recast it, and you can still get to draw a card. So, well, now we've learned that uh, Cavern of Souls is OP against opponents' remand technology. Oh my God, no, still doesn't work. But I guess you want the guy. I think that time they just wanted the guy. Yeah, they're just trying to get the creature out. Uh, ooh, no, I'm not going to pay the three for Mana Leak. So Mutavolt's a 4-4? Four, four? That's pretty good. So they can go block, block, block. Um, you know what? That's fine. I mean, if you want to put your whole team in front of Mutavault, that is fine. 
This is fine. Everything's fine. All right. We play the land because if we draw a collective company, we can still play the land, play collective com or play collective company and still attack with uh, Mute Vault without taking damage. There's no reason to bluff a land here. So that's a lot of young pyromancers. Forked Bolt. I'm wondering if we should just keep Predatory Sliver alive just because of the... Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly why we do it. Alright. Well, Blur Sliver is in the trash can. Necrotic and Diffusion. Not the best hits, but So 2-2 two, two gets blocked by a young Pyromancer. Probably pretty good, actually. I mean, if you want to actually block here, that's fine. If you have an Opt or a Thought Scour in your hand, it's pretty rough. But otherwise, this is a good trade. Yeah, that's fine. Don't be flipping. They flipped. Oh, man, and a Vapor Snag. Brutal. Actually, that's not too bad. We just get to replay a guy. That's better than a rule spell. Yeah, this is why we should have kept the sliver around. Yeah, we're really in top deck city here. As far as top decks go, that's not terrible. Yeah, I think the biggest problem was attacking with the Sinew Sliver. If we can keep both Slivers alive, three damage is so much stronger than two damage against this deck. They have Electrolyze, Forked Bolt, uh, a bunch of two power creatures, and um, I'm just going to pass here. Gale Rider Sliver would have been OP there. Water is for quitters? What does that even mean? All right, I'll take it. All right, now we're talking. The problem is they go block here, block here. We know they have a snag in hand. They can bounce this guy. They gotta pay an extra two. We can go white, black, or green, black, red, white, blue. Yeah, we can actually play Hive Lord. That's pretty hilarious. 
Water is for closers? Isn't water for closers and openers? Yeah, they're going to bounce this guy, which is great because we can just replay it. Assuming your last card is not... I mean, they have five lands, so the Diffusion Sliver ability is pretty not super potent right now. Just don't have lands. All right. All right. Back on top. Until they go... Uh... Yeah, I don't care about that. God, Metallic Mimic just dies? No, it's a sliver, actually. It does not die. That's pretty good. See, if we attack with either of these, then they go block, shoot, and then shoot. It's pretty bad. I don't. I'm a hipster from Denver. Coors is bad. Okay, well, that was a quick change. Are they going to kill us here? Any light, any lightning bolt, any three damage is really good. Any one damage is really good too because of the Grim Lava Mancer. But uh, that was not what we needed. If they have Vapor Snag, they just go bounce, shoot. It's unbelievably bad. Untap, shoot again. <laughs> New pizza with water in the crust. Oh boy! Wow, this chat's really gone off the rails here. I still feel like we can't attack here. I don't know when we can attack, though, is the problem. Like, this match is pretty brutal. <sighs> if we attack, they can just go block, shoot, and then everything is down. Like, we have to actually have nothing. They have to have nothing for us to actually win here. The problem is they go 2, 2, 3, and that's 7. Yep. Yeah, attacking seems terrible there. I mean, if we can get, like, life gain sliver or indus... Yeah, so if they had that in hand, we were dead anyway. This we, I think we threw this game out when we actually attacked with predatory sliver as well. Sedge Sliver would probably have done it. All right, well, this guy's coming in. This card is coming in. Gale Rider Sliver seems bad because we don't want to actually have them... Uh, Teleconnect Sliver I don't care about. Frenetic Sliver is kind of interesting here. Necrotic Sliver I don't care about either. That seems good. Uh, the blue-red sliver is frenetic sliver. You flip a coin. All slivers have zero flip a coin. If you win, you exile it. And if you lose, it dies. Womp, bump, bump, but um, bum, 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 bum. I will play first. Wow, this hand is bad. This hand is marginally better. Put you on the bottom. So we definitely want to swamp. So I guess we're just getting overgrown. I, we always default to overgrown because we have double sliver hive here, especially. But because you want, you want a swamp for the sedge sliver, and you want a forest for the collected company. 
Original Pants, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. But also we want a... Um, a swamp for collective brutality as well, so... Multiple reasons. Also, if we just land Diffusion Sliver here, they can't really do anything, right? I was really hoping they were going to lightning bolt this. I was so... I had my, my fingers crossed. I was like, please lightning bolt it. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You gonna remand this guy? Oh, back to my hand he goes. Well, that's actually vomit inducing. Was not actually expecting that. Sorry, idiot, you didn't search for a swamp or a forest so you don't get to play this game. Oh, Blood Moon. You are a fun magic card. Well, I can't really fetch green because that's not how Verdant Catacombs works once the Blood Moon is in play. So, don't really have that option. <sighs> it's annoying. All right, well, I think we're good here. Um, that was a fun match of Magic the Gathering where our opponent was like, I don't really want you to play, I don't want to play your deck. I'll just play my deck and you can do whatever you want, uh, which is basically nothing. All right, so. That was disheartening, but I don't think it actually affects our deck any. I almost feel like we want like Abrupt Decay in the deck.
Thought season the board is ambitious because we don't really have many ways to. We already took the vials out, Jimbo the Kid. We had vials in to begin with, and we took them out. We we're, we're already past that step. My only concern with Thought season the board is not being able to reliably cast it on turn one because we don't have that many. I do like abrupt decay, but dismember is so easy to cast. Thanks a ton. We'll keep this hand. I'm going to put you on the bottom. I'm not looking for lands here. <laughs> on the other hand, Vile does get around uh, Blood Moon. Yeah, Necrotic Sliver is kind of like Abrupt Decay, but it costs six mana to be an Abrupt Decay, you know what I mean? Like, Plus, if they play... I don't know. The thing is, like... If our opponent plays Blood Moon and we don't have Vile, like, what do we do? Right? We have a Forest and a Swamp. Those are the only lands we could actually play. So we actually have to have Mana Weft Sliver at that point. Oh man, that's too much lands with four mana web slivers. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think 21 lands is really too many. In the history of magic, what, who has been like, well, you have a deck with four guys who produce mana on turn two? 21 lands, too many. Mm, no, I didn't. I did not know. I'm just going to get Watery Grave here. Sliver Hive is probably better. Also, like, it's a 1 1. Like, if they kill our Mana Weft Sliver, we don't have other mana creatures that are gonna. It's not like we have four elves, four birds, or, you know, four elves, three noble hierarchs, or something like that. It's literally just Mana Weft Slivers. I, mean, play against, I played against a medium fan once. He's like, medium fan. And I was like, okay, I accept. <sighs> Collect a company now or wait? I imagine we wait. I can't see the benefit of not waiting here. I mean, we have Blur Sliver in the deck. We have a Blur Sliver. So if we hit Blur Sliver, we get a sweet attack, but... Oh... Seji and Mimic just seems better than than Seji, right? Did this not get a counter? I guess they entered the battlefield at the same time. Uh, I guess we'll go black. We'll leave that up because we're going to play both of these guys. Let's go, Mana Weft Sliver, boop, boop. And we'll go black, this guy, this guy, play this guy. Everybody's big. Everybody's having a good time. Does that, does the order matter? The triggers happen at the same time. I'm not, they're not going onto the battlefield in the, right, in the wrong order. I don't know if that even works, that seems weird.
I mean, to be fair, Sliver Hive is a repeatable mana engine once you have Mana Weft Sliver out, which is pretty good. Um, there's a Mimic in the graveyard that they can just eat. If you want to trade this guy, that's totally fine. I'll keep up regeneration. Sure. It's a lord, but we got a lot of stuff on board right now, so. We can regen, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save the regeneration because if, we, if they were to try to kill us, killing Sedge Sliver is really what we want to prevent. So um, if we if we use this now, then we can't actually do it next turn. Oh, I guess they said no. Opponent playing Salt Eye. Consider to let him win. <laughs> um... What is three mana Nissa that makes plants and gives counters? Just because of the counters? Playing Sultai and a huge fan? Yeah, that's actually... Uh, it's actually pretty good. All right, grave tapped. Seems good. Slivers. So we have one, two, three. I think we can attack safely with three guys. Probably the big ones. We got one, two, three regens. This is a lot of life too. I don't know if you guys knew that. This figure is actually pretty good though. All right, well, I'm gonna regenerate this guy. Okay. 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 Oh, I'll go to 30. A healthy life total. This is where they go damnation. And then we're like, well, that's too bad. I have overextended. And now I'm get to cry. Chase the Mind Sculptor. That is not a damnation. You might actually be dead. I think you're dead. That's not going to work the way you think it works. I <laughs> got him. All right, that'll do. That'll do. All right, so what do we see? We saw Jace the Mind Sculptor, and we saw a Scavenging Ooze, and we saw a Inquisition of Kozilek. I kind of like Collector Brutality in this matchup. I'll bring in two. We'll see what happens. It doesn't hit Jace or Collect or uh, what do you call it? Scavenging use, which we saw, but it does end up doing a number on like any sort of removal they might have. So it also can kill scavenging use if there's no creatures in the graveyard, which is kind of cool. <laughs> K 
got him. <laughs> you did got him. Good for you. Um, this hand is actually fine. Serum Visions is better for us than the alternative, which is Inquisition. So next up we can go Gale Rider into Predatory Sliver, which is pretty okay. Sliver. Assuming this guy lives anyway. They may not live. That's a good one. Yep, that's rough. Blur sliver one time. Dang it, mana whiff sliver. How are you going to act like that? All right, we're definitely playing you. I feel like this game's going really slowly, and I don't know why. This is uh, A and W root beer water, diet A and W water. Yep. This guy seems more relevant than Gale Rider Sliver, but maybe they're killing both. Double push into eat one, into attack for three, into plus Liliana. Maybe that's your maybe that's your new deal. Thank you. David Styles, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Discard a card. I'll discard a necrotic sliver. That guy's a little too expensive for me right now. And we're not discarding collective company, that's for sure. Yeah, this is uh this is water that's been uh domesticated. It's not found in the wild uh anymore. We brought that water into captivity, and then we added a bunch of personality to it. And I got some raisins, which I'm gonna... Oh, that's it? Wow! Wow! I think we're just passing here. I bet Metallic Mimic doesn't get invited to Sliver parties, unfortunately, because they don't actually know he's a Sliver until he gets there, you know? Uh, 
Riveting. Just riveting. I don't like double predator swing and trade because if they have any removal spell, it's just a blowout. We're just going to collect a company next turn and then we're going to actually build a predator after that. So we'll have a oh, pretty wide board. Don't do anything crazy, man. Oh. Oh, I like that. I'm a fan. One problem with grapes is that there are a lot of, like, stems things and stuff. Well, we can't double pre- Like, if we double pred there, we'd have to discard collected company, which is even- that's, that's significantly worse to me. I would rather have one predator, one collected company, than two predators, no collected company. That is not the life I want to be living. They're also tapped out right now, which is pretty epic. Do they want to discard a card? Do they want to discard? So long, Predator Sliver. I mean, there's like 35 creatures in our deck. We actually shouldn't whiff here. And we have Predator Sliver, Mano F Sliver, and Mutavolt on board next turn, at least. All right, you know what time it is. Ooh, Sentinel and Sinew, I suppose. Any order, don't care. Mana Weft Sliver, Gale, Gale Rider Sliver off the top. I'm down. Big slivs. So, what we can do is play this guy, activate Mutavault, and attack with two 4-4 four, four slivers. That seems good. Uh, attack Liliana and attack Liliana. I just want to get Liliana off the board, to be honest with you. So they're just going to let it happen. Uh, you can't do it on the phone, actually, I don't believe. You have to use the Discord app. On your on your PC. Look at that. They're gonna they're gonna put a card into play because they knew it was there all along. I feel like we're still in pretty good shape here. As someone from England, how do you feel about Mike's decree regarding chicken Sundays? Also on a scale of... Oh, Jesus. Cool beans. Daily tribute book. Kerwin, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to play this guy. <laughs> well, that's too bad. I guess everything's dead here.
Oh, uh, side of black, a white, and green. That wasn't terrible. Can I? I'm hitting the black. There we go. I wonder if we can just destroy two of their lands. I wonder how good that is for us. So one, two, three, four, five. We only have five mana, so we actually can't do both. I will get rid of the, the breeding pool, though. This has all types. What a time to be alive. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Collect a company. Sure. This Mute Vault's going to get there. I just know it. I lied to you. Fatal Push is a good card, so is Snapcaster Mage. Well, that is unfortunate. Still no green, so that's a thing, I guess. Interesting. The old Serum Visions post land. Seems less than ideal. One time. It's a sliver. Eh, it's a sliver. <laughs> Tireless Tracker is pretty good. Slivers all day. Can I get a collected company? I've only drawn one this game, so. That is not it. All right, well, I'm just gonna play it because there's no reason to have this stuff in hand. Man, oh man. Bilbo Baggins. One man away from making some slivers though. Slivers every turn is a thing we can do. Sort of like, which one am I going to kill with this fatal push in my hand? I'll kill the sinew sliver. That's a better sliver. I agree with you. Well, I have no cards in my hand. So, oh, Polluted Delta. That was almost the perfect card when you have a tireless tracker in play. Almost perfect. I'm not going to block your 4-3. That can be a 5-4. That doesn't make any sense. Bilbo Beggins. 
Oh, that's a dude. I mean, the flying sliver is just as good as a shadow sliver in this matchup. They have no flying blockers. And the, the shadow sliver gets killed just as easily. We've already had this discussion. It also costs more mana. It also can't block. Oh, this guy's bad for us. This guy's bad for everybody. I appreciate making physical therapy more fun. That's that sounds pretty awesome. I mean, for for both of us, I guess. Yeah, I'll take that. Can we win here? <laughs> are they just dead? No, no, they are not. Sliver time in the city. Lingling. Oil the ring. It's sliver time in the city. You can't be more evasive. Like, there's no flyers. Like, you haven't come across flyers one time. So it's like, it's. it's there have been no situations where Gale Rider Sliver wasn't just better because it literally can block and it's cheaper. Like, you just remove yourself from combat. Like, we haven't blocked yet, but, like, the, the ability to block a 5-4 or a 3-4 here is not a joke. Like, those are definitely real things that we can, that we want to do. Maybe. Hear them sing. Oh boy. I feel like we're way behind here. Tireless Tracker is a real son of a biscuit. But then we have eight aggressive slivers. I know, which is why we have Gale Rider Sliver. I don't understand what you're saying here right now. You have to give me a situation where it's better than Gale Rider Sliver. And it's not. <laughs> Yeah, not so tireless now, are you, buddy? No, I'm pretty tired. I've had a long day. Hmm. Nothing, huh? Wow. All four sliver highs, huh? Okay. I'm gonna go to the next game. We can't actually tap their guys down anymore, and we're drawing pretty badly, so. Hmm. I almost want these dismembers in just because of the other thing. 
playset? What are you saying right now? Playset? What does that mean? That's just those are just random words, Music Manly. Playset, playset. I don't think I care about Blur Sliver. I do care about a dismember though. Oh, playset, I got you. I was like, what are you talking about, man? You sound crazy. You sound crazy right now. Well, last like look at last game. Last game we weren't racing. But if it's not better, we're not going to have like eight of that effect because we just that's it's too it dilutes everything, right? Like we want. I will play first. I can see frenetic sliver in this matchup too. All right. So we had one land hand and that was two land hand. People were like twenty one lands is too many. I'm just like no, it's fine. It's completely fine. I like the redundancy in this hand. <laughs> we can't add on claim territory. We have eight lands that can't cast our non-sliver spells. We can't have 12. God, they went to eight cards on turn one. That's ridiculous. Sure. Soon it will be sliver day. This is a tough choice. It's got to be Mimic, right? Are they watching? Did they just hear me say that? That was awkward. Universe is a simulation. Fatal push, your gentleman. Don't push me, bro. Do they ever not have it? No, they always have it every single time. Oh, opening hand with thought season fatal push. What? That's the black X mid range starting pack. I'll play a Liliana and make you sacrifice your sliver. Well, that's actually better, I guess. If you think slivers is the dark side, boy, I got some news for you. Alright, so we have a sliver hive. Uh, we took out the blue sliver, so we don't care about that. I think we just want stomping ground for the red, I guess. That was a good draw. <sighs> so we can do it now. Maybe get some pumps and attack into you. Or we can do an EOT where you're not expecting it. Probably do that. Yep, 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 yep. Wow, that dude is friggin' huge already. And a dismember doesn't even stop him. Ooh. Sliver, sliver. Sliver, sliver. Any order? I'll name Sliver again. I 
I guess we're going all at Liliana. She's obnoxious. Sorry, Liliana, no offense. No offense, girl. Do 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 do. Whoa, whoa, dismember. Hope you don't have a second push. All right, that was a good turn. That's what a good turn looks like, folks. Damnation. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! I don't think that does what you think it does. Yeah, I agree. We're actually uh, increasing in subs rather than lowering in subs. And it's uh, just as confus confusing to me as it is to you. Believe you me. I'm going to play this guy because I'm not scared of... Uh, I'm not scared of engineered explosives because this guy's a three drop. Okay. Damnation could be great. Oh, boy. Sad days are here again. Go to three? So this guy's lethal? Woof! I guess throwing this guy out in his damnation was bad. Cleus. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's also pretty good. Also, this is another situation where we can easily cast Sliver Legion or Sliver Lord, Hive Lord, Sliver Hive Lord. Thank you. Chad Bradbury, 50 months, 51 months in a row. Sad Chad, no see Frank in Vegas. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, there's definitely some sad times about not going to Vegas. Um, but I don't know. I just wasn't prepared to go. I wasn't prepared to make the plans to do it. Like, I didn't want to find a place to stay and make a flight and find someone to watch pets and figure out when I'm getting there and leaving. And I was over, I think I was just overwhelmed. So I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to decline going this year. Interesting. One, two. Thank you. Boji, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Saltai Brood. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I almost want to just one, two, three, four, five. Activate Sliver Hive. We can still keep Tomb up. But we can also just Sinew Sliver and keep three regenerations up. Do you promise not to tell? Whoa, whoa. They have to block, right? So we can just go one, two, sinew sliver. Can't be countered. I wish you could use sliver hive to activate sliver abilities as well. That seems like it'd be relevant, right? Yeah, regenerate slivers, pay costs. Okay. I will eat your tar pit friend. Let 
Ooh, ooh. Do you want to know a secret? Put that dude in front. I'm just gonna eat this guy. Okay. Tasty. Well, our opponent's taking actually six minutes longer than we have, so that's probably why this match feels like it's going a little slower than normal, but. It's pretty good. Make a sack of dude. Sure. That's really obnoxious. <laughs> They're at three life. Both of these guys are lethal, but if they block here, it's pretty bad, so we'll just attack your face. I'm glad they don't have a mana to actually sack this guy to put it on, on him. I'm going to crack this now. We'll get a black source. I wish I had one more mana because I really don't want to lower my shields to place Sedge to uh, to make a guy. But I almost think we have to because we make a 3-3. Three, three. Thoughtseize. Like we've seen cast down in the deck. Ugh. No, I can't do it. That's pretty good though. We're going to kill Liliana now because it actually means they have to... Actually, yeah, they have to block with Creeping Tarpet anyway. God, we just get to eat all the Creeping Tarpets. I guess we sack Mana Weft Sliver again. But then if they have a second Liliana in hand, it's just so bad. Uh, we didn't make tokens for two turns because we don't have the mana to do that. Um, we've opened one Karn, yes. Actually, pretty okay. <laughs> I've actually mentioned Sliverhive's second ability like four times, and so in the past five minutes, saying I wish we had one more mana because I don't want to tap out to use it because we want to be able to keep regeneration up. So I'm not sure what you guys are referring to. It costs five and a tap. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. We just drew our seventh mana right now. Before that, we had mana weft sliver, but I didn't want to tap out because I don't want to take down regeneration shields for these guys. Dirt the Rapper, thank you so much for saying so. We really appreciate it. Um, I don't like this situation that we're in here. God, 
I just go block and sack. Or just block and sack. Yep, now we got to pass. Yeah, Gale Rider would be great here, especially because we have a uh, Gale Rider or Collected Company would be pretty nice. Tireless Tracker is very good as well. And I have a fetch land that I've been holding just for such an occasion. Oh, it's okay. It's just a regular land, guys. Actually, now they don't have mana to activate Kalidus, so that was actually surprisingly good for us. And we get to make a 3-3 for free. A free-free, if you will. Gale Rider. Oh, Sedge Sliver number dose. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four. Play this Sedge Sliver some more. That's pretty insane. Because now they have to block all of these guys. One, two, three. And they can all regenerate. Sliver's OP. And we have four mana to regenerate, which is pretty insane. Yep, you got it. That doesn't do anything. That actually taps you out, which is actually assured death. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four. Actually, you go to six. You can actually block, block. Take four. Nope, they all die. Regenerate this perm. These guys are fine. And uh, we're going to pass. And, and we're just going to hope you don't have damnation, I guess. They have a minute and 44 seconds to win this game, so I don't think it's happening, but... Land, Snapcaster, Damnation. Oh, did we get a good games? <gasps> we got a good games. Thank goodness. What a grindy Slivers matchup this was. I was surprised. They're like, good games. Uh, Damnation. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Damnation Tassiger. Snapcaster Damnation. I don't know what's happening. But... When are you going to play some Sultai again? When the time is right, sir. When the time is right. Hey, it's a little diffusion sliver. I'm just going to play it for funsies. Don't be countering this guy. All your removal costs one more now. Slivers! Attack! He can't make a hive token. What a dummy. Negative 12. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. All right. So on that note, like, I like the Sliver Hive Lord, even though we didn't draw it. I think the one of it is pretty sweet. It doesn't, it didn't look like we would ever have trouble casting it. Um, I don't, I'm still torn on, like, Mana Whiff, Sliver, Metallic Mimic, and Aether Vial. I don't know what combination of those to use. Um, we took out the Aether Vials because maybe uh, they're bad with Harmonic Sliver because you just end up killing your own Aether Vial. But with Metallic Mimic, it's the same thing. So I don't know. Um... Aether Vile is good. It's terrible top top deck in the late game. Metallic Mimic is good. It's a good top deck in the late game. Mana Weft Sliver is a great top deck in the late game because it does turn on your Sliver Hives, both the fact that it's a Sliver and that you can tap your other Slivers for mana that you may need. Um, so I think Mana Weft Sliver actually is more relevant than I gave it credit for initially, but as far as Aether Vile, I don't know. 
Um, Blur Sliver is kind of a meh. Siphon Sliver is pretty good. Telekinetic Sliver. All these one ofs are kind of interesting. I think these are better as sideboard cards. Um, this this the haste is relevant, but you're rarely gonna draw it frequently enough to actually use it. What happens when you run into Blood Moon? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, it, it's hard to say. <laughs> you might just want like two abrupt decays in the deck. You can play off the Godless Shrine or the uh, you can play off the Forest and the Swamp, or you can play it off a of Mana Weft Sliver. Um, I can definitely see cutting this guy or putting it in the sideboard for an abrupt decay, and maybe cutting the Blur Sliver for an abrupt decay. So. Yeah, because as, as you can see, the Blood Moon did definitely cripple us, and we didn't get to play that game. Um, but other than that, yeah, Jake, thank you so much for, for showing me the deck. Really appreciate it. And uh, I've definitely played Slivers before in Modern, and I was always impressed with it. And, you know, they have very explosive explosive draws. I think cards like Damnation are being played more frequently now. So I'm not sure if this is as good. But it was still a blast to play, and Slivers are still sweet. They're one of my favorite tribes in Modern, so... Yeah, if you guys are interested in having your own deck critique, you can either check out my Patreon page or check out my Twitch profile, both of which are linked in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.